Now the chances are you're watching this video because you're looking for a quick, speedy dinner, but you lack the very basic kitchen skills. So today I'm going to show you all the tips and tricks to awesome knife skills that means you can chop without losing fingers and we're going to create an incredible pork stir-fried rice dish. Because, let's face it, a chimpanzee with an axe has better knife skills than you. Now I reckon I have a stir fry at home at least once a week because it's really easy to throw together. Yep. And the only skill is getting everything ready ahead of cooking. Mm -hmm. Chopped up nice and fine. And that's what we're going to look at today, knife skills. Yeah. Okay, so first up, the pork, which we need to marinate. This is tenderloin um, or pork loin. And all I want you to do is cut it into small strips. The key here is a board that isn't going to move around. Yep. A knife that's nice and sharp. And then just let the knife do the work as you slide through. If you've got a nice sharp knife, it will do. And I see you're using the claw technique with the hand. Yes, so thumb behind the fingers, and then all you're doing is your knife is sliding down that nail. Okay. And there's no way you can cut your finger. And meanwhile, over on this side, I'm going to make a marinade for that pork, which is root ginger and a couple of cloves of garlic blended up with some liquid. So in the marinade, what I'm going to do is a little spice grinder. I'm just going to put soy. Yep. So that's the salty flavour going in. A shot of mirin, which is a, a sweet rice wine. Yep. And that is incredible. And now we've got kind of the fiery heat of the ginger and the raw garlic going in as well. And that's it, as simple as that. Pop the lid on, blend it up, and we're going to marinate our pork in that. Now you can do that just for a few moments before you fry it, mm -hmm. while you cut up all the rest of your veg. Or you can do it in the morning, leave it all day, and it'll be amazing by the time you get around to dinner. Now typically this machine would be for grinding spices or coffee beans or nuts, but I find for pastes and marinades is brilliant too. Give Let's us a look at that now. Even taste oh, it. Oh. It's pretty strong because you've got the fiery heat of ginger, this is of garlic. So that's going to go in there, all the good pork in, and then just leave that to marinate for a little while while we cut up all of the veg. And the key to a good stir fry is to make sure everything is about the same size. We'll get rid of the raw meat board. You clean your hands. First up, red onion. And we want a dice of red onion. Cut into where the root was like that, but sort of three quarters of the way through. Remember the claw, you're keeping your fingers back, and then turn it and go the other way. And what you're left with here Perfect is a dice of onion. Squares. Top advice on pepper, so you minimise the waste, cut the bottom off, then the top off, then down one side, and then carve all the way around. It means all the seeds come out in one, and then you can slice everything else into small matchstick-like pieces. Don't let the knife leave the board. So you're rocking back and forth, and you end up with awesome little julienne. And there's our pepper, onion done. Next up, sugar snap peas. You could use mange too. At the moment, they're a little bit too big. So the same thing, use that rocking action. Keep the knife on the board. You just cut it into strips like that. And that way, the strips will be on par with the pepper. And I'm going to take tender stem broccoli. Now, this is already small florets of broccoli. But I'm just going to cut them in half because the stalk's the biggest bit. And if you just cut down the stalk and just kind of tear it and it'll find its natural line and you end up with pieces like that. Now the last thing we have to get ready before we start to cook is our rice. We already have it ready because it's left over. If you're going to cook it fresh, cook yourself off some rice mm -hmm. until it's just cooked, then drain it, lay it out on a tray and let it cool down and that allows it to kind of steam dry as well because you want quite dry cold rice. Cool. Okay, then we need a wok and the wok has to be to the max. And this bit, this is the bit you love. Yeah. Coconut oil. And mm -hmm. that's what we're going to fry in. So you guys suggested it. Basically, a couple of reasons. One, it has a higher smoke point, but also just if you get a good quality oil, amazing. you get the coconut flavour coming through it as well. So with the ginger and the mirin and the coconut and all these veg, it's absolutely delicious. Killer combination. Don't put it in until your wok is already hot. Then when that is nice and hot, the first thing we're going to do is cook our meat. It smells like a body shop. So hot, it smells all it's like suntan lotion, isn't it? And then in with this. Whoa. And it has to be that hot to get the nice crisp flavour. You're doing this bit, so stir fry. You kind of want to keep it moving. It smells unreal. And how long do I do this for before it's it's I take it out to do the if bit? If it's hot enough, that's almost cooked because we cut the pork so fine. Look, the soy and the ginger and stuff are all caramelising. At this point, we want to scoop the pork out, but leave the oil in the wok, because that's now got all the amazing porky flavours with the ginger and the mirin. Next up, your onions go in. And this is so easy, so quick, providing you've got everything just to the side of you. Get all your prep done. Mm -hmm. When we were being trained, it was called mise en place. It's the, uh, another top tip is, if you say anything that you're doing in the kitchen in French, it makes it sound more skillful. 
So our tender stem broccoli and our rouge peppers. The other great thing about stir fry is we're not going to overcook this. No, it's really it's vibrant. Be crunchy. You want the crunch of the veg. Yeah. And then in goes the rice. Now the rice is cold, so we need to give this time to heat all the way through. You're doing it perfectly, but basically scrape right down to the bottom because it's those bottom bits that will get uh, caught. But with a something like a silicon spatula, a wooden spatula, get under there. It works a treat. And uh, just make sure it doesn't stick. Other spatulas are available. When you're happy that rice is hot all the way through, back in with our pork and all those juices that come out of the pork. And then the sauce itself, so simple. A squeeze of sweet chilli sauce. Bit of a cheat, but I Yippee. absolutely love it. I love sweet chilli. And love season it. it with soy. The lid's all in a little bit of the marinade, but instead of putting in salt, put in a little bit of soy sauce. Keep it moving, make sure it's piping hot, and that's it. Like, less than five minutes for the stir fry, once you've got all your bits ready. And there we go, a super speedy stir fry. Whether you're a beginner or not, you can absolutely nail this every time. It's our stir fried rice with pork sorted. It's a speedy evening dish, isn't it? Mm -mm. Are you yep. going to give a lesson into how to use those, or is that a completely separate video? Use a fork if you're not comfortable with it. That coconut oil just makes this, it just takes it to a different level entirely. I guess there's nothing else to say, other than if you know someone out there, like me, who would benefit from watching this video, then please share it with them, and do the planet some service. <laughs> That's strong.